5,000 years ago, there's a group of people who live along Yellow River and the Yang Tse River. They have created a very flourished culture and live their most mysterious traditions. Okay, so that was Frank's uh, passionate <laughs> introduction to China. So we thought proud of that. <laughs> we thought we'd do um, a kind of joke. What are the worst things about being married? No, you don't have to say that. I don't have you to say just... it's a joke. No, you don't have to say it's a joke. You can okay. just uh, say the worst thing is to marry China. Okay. We married a Chinese man. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. I know you love me. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> but don't listen to this. We are a married woman. <laughs> and you are dating with a Chinese man. <laughs> okay. 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 So, um, <laughs> so the first thing. Yeah. Not being able to eat cold things when I want. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. That, you know, when you see, even in China, mm -hmm. everyone have their hot water bottle, yeah. their small little flask. Usually they put different flavor of teas and their own drinks like grapefruit, lemon with honey. And when I come to UK, oh my God. In restaurant, they didn't give you free tea <laughs> and hot water. <laughs> Too much. Okay. Well, so, in China, it's free. So, what? <laughs> and this is unlimited. This, this, this isn't about how bad England is. Okay, this is about how annoying you are. Okay, maybe I'm too greedy. Okay. All right. So it's about the cold drinks. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, I don't drink Coke that often, yeah. but every now and again, you just I just want a nice cold Coke. So I put in all my ice cubes, I even slice my little lemon, mm -hmm. I put it so nicely, I have my little straw, mm -hmm. and then Frank comes along and sees it. Look at my eyes. <laughs> and he, I can just feel the hate radiating off of him, and he's like, why are you drinking cold water? Yeah. No, not cold water. Like, why are you drinking cold drinks at yeah. this time? It could be any time. It could be in the morning. It could be the evening. It could be at night. Any time I drink a cold drink, he's like, why are you drinking cold water? Or cold coke? Or why are you drinking something cold? Um, even at night time, if I want some ice cream or something like that, last night, I was like, can I have some, an ice lolly? And I ask now because... <laughs> <laughs> because, because when Mega have a bad period, I'll just say because you drink too much cold yeah. water. Whenever I'm sick, it will be because I had something cold. Like oh, I would say, don't complain to me. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I think is the worst thing about the worst. The worst. Do you want me to go out? <laughs> the worst thing about marrying someone who is quite traditionally Chinese mm. is that, you know, they need the family approval of things. And when we was talking, I was, you know, when you give like your partner, like what if situations, like, oh, what if, you know, I lost my finger, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> <Lost my finger. laughs> you know, would you, must be my <laughs> would you stay with me if this happened? So I just asked him one day, Oh, you know, would you still be with me if your mum didn't approve? And straight away. Straight away? Straight away. He said. No hesitate. No hesitate. He was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you don't remember that? I, I can't remember it actually. But, but what, what would you do if your mum didn't agree to us being married? I'll make her agree. I know, but what if she absolutely didn't agree? I was still trying my absolutely effort to make her <laughs> Question dodging. <laughs> what if your whole family <laughs> said we don't like Megan? No, it's, a, it's not about that. I think uh, when I was young, before I leave China, uh, the whole society, the whole education, and the whole culture is teach you obedience. Even in the Communist Party, 
in the school systems they just tell you as an individual you have to follow the big group like uh, your community like in a family you have to sacrifice yourself we call it small self and contribute into the big group we say big group <laughs> yeah so uh, when I was young I always thinking you know actually marriage is not just for two people it's about two families you, you the two families have to have the same sort of values or ideas when they meet the same situation yeah so if my parents or my grandparents don't agree they must have their reasons they are not like people don't have have nonsense so they must have their reasons where I can't see because I, I was very young they have lived for maybe 40 or even 50 years of their life so they met more people and they know how people are like another thing um does not like so many different foods he's so fussy he only likes chinese food for the most part i mean chinese food is always going to be the best food for him but like, nothing is going to compare so you know i can't go to indian restaurants no more because duan says he doesn't like indian food even though i know he does because when we go sometimes he does enjoy it like and they eat the most <laughs> in their table I mean, it doesn't like English food, which is kind of fair enough. I mean, English no, I food like isn't English that food. like. He doesn't like potatoes. I don't like potatoes because the first, <laughs> the first day I come to England, yeah. You can't blame that. No, the the potato is like I think it's potato they mix with some vinegar or some lemons. And the potato, they say boil the potato and mix with lemons or the vinegar and uh, with no flavors. And they, they never peel the skin. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I've been taught that you have to eat this fruit of skin, like tomatoes and yeah, stuff like that. Because that it has fine. the most fiber. No, when we first came to England, you would like peel all the skin, like you would spit out the skin. No, it's fine. No, I just can't get used to the skin. But because... like, even when we went back to China and like Frank was trying to eat something and you ate the out. skin. No, you ate the skin and your mum was like, oh no, no, my baby. <laughs> Why do you need the skin? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's traumatic. Well, it was kind of dramatic. <laughs> Eat a peach without peeling out the skin. Okay, I was, yeah. I was shocked, and I, and I, and, I, and when Megan went to the toilet, I, I talked with my mom. I said, <laughs> "Megan eats the skin, and she eats the peach." <laughs> and we were just talking, and my mom said, "Yes." <laughs> Yeah, and we're all just <laughs> shocked. And you know, that, that's, it, that's it, it's a little topic that lasts us for two or three days. And, and I think it's because I was a single children in my family, so they're just trying to protect me. And uh, sometimes uh, you can't wash the fruit or vegetables that. Clean. Frank was even peeling the skin of grapes. I mean, who has time for that? No, I never <laughs> peeled the skin of grapes. In, just... in the home, it's always my mom or my grandparents. Okay, so when he's I in England, he myself. just like eats it and then spits the skin out. Yeah, because I'm crazy. <laughs> but the skin of grapes. Just eat it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Well, I can't see that. Yeah. So when Megan washed the grapes, <laughs> she just put the grapes underneath the tap, open the tap, close the tap, it's, it's done. It's not that dramatic. I I get wash it thoroughly. <laughs> Tell them how I wash it. I have to wash it once by one, one by one, <laughs> one by one. And, and sometimes I use salt to wash the grapes because it has the white stuff on the skin. I really don't like. Have the white stuff. <laughs> Next time, just go to the Tesco or some supermarket and buy a box of grapes. Okay, and that's about it, you know. I mean, I don't think there's too many. Like, I think some some things. Like, I know some people say that their partner, who is from China, has difficulty saying that they love them or expressing their emotions. But like, but, I'm really not like that. But but, well, that is because you're a Western girl. Even my parents, they always don't say love. I love you. But my father will wait for like. Half a day in the station for my mom to come. Is that proof something? Because in like an old saying in China, don't listen what people say. Look at what they do. Yeah, see the action. Don't listen to their word. I know, but sometimes it's nice to hear it as well. Yeah, it's nice to hear. I'm learning, so now I just say. Oh my God, I love you. That sounds like he doesn't mean it. I feel like I'm why, not in the middle. Why, why are you squeezing <laughs> me? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm not in the middle. Oh, okay. Squeeze. Look at me. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> I know you're beautiful, but you don't need to be that weird. Um, the last thing is we were talking about is the pressure like a Chinese family puts yeah. on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pressure. So when we got, you know, usually you have enough time, and when I speak to my friends about this, when you get married, especially if you got married quite young, you know, you want a couple of years to travel and, you know, yeah. kind of get your life sorted out yeah. um, before a baby. Yeah, because when you have a baby, basically, you are kind of settled and mm. you have a different sort of life. You mm. try to travel less, you are moving your life centre to the baby mm. instead of yourself. We just think it's good to take some time to do a self-improvement yeah. and uh, you know, s travel more, see more of the world. Well, we didn't say if we have a baby we can't travel, but... It's a bit harder. It's a bit harder mm. and also we're quite young. Mm. and. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of pressure about a lot baby, of pressure, yeah. and then just I don't know, it's like a kind of it's too much of a competition, and then when you go back, yeah, yeah, there, you you're know, you're twenty five <laughs> for the girl if you not get married. Oh my god, every week the family will introduce a new man to you. Trust me, if you are a Chinese girl, <laughs> and uh, when you open the social media on your phone, you can just see your classmate, your friend. All the children is one years old, two mm. years old, and while well, you still don't have anything, <laughs> and it just sort of like, and, and it's just like about gifts and stuff. Like when you go back for Chinese New Year, you know you can't just give a gift because you think, oh, this person likes something. You know it has to be like the most expensive thing. Like they expect designer brands. You just can't come with like I don't know some chocolate you think they'd like. It has to be like, I don't know, some kind of Gucci, some kind of like Mac. Yeah. You know, it has to always be like a brand. And very you expensive have name. to make sure you give the every Everyone. single every single person the same amount of value of stuff. Mm. You just say you have to buy something at home and otherwise people are gonna have a small talk. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's not even it's not even like uh, you know, joy or happiness to give something to someone else. It's like, okay, I have to buy you this thing that is going to be very expensive. You might not even like it or not. You just like the fact that it's expensive. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> they didn't say. They don't say anything. But I should look at you. <laughs> Smell. Like that's that's just a whole other issue. Like a Chinese family 
it's like it's a, it's a big a bit, topic. It's a bit like uh, uh, family's expectation. So what is a good thing is the family expect you to be a better person, but sometimes their expectation is just uh, a bit high when you, when they are not actually experience so much things to even go out and see the world. Uh... So that that is all my list. Um, it's not going to be unfair. Mm. Duan is going to do the worst thing about being married to a Western girl. I not So it's it. fair. I not make that. Why? I like everything. Huh. Oh. Yes. I, I, can I say something? <laughs> because since I come to you, yes, I'm like, sorry. Oh. We're just saying goodbye for this oh, video. Oh, kind of <laughs> so thank you for watching. We're gonna try, yeah, and make more videos. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. So. Yeah. Okay, so see you. See you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> well, and sometimes, like, I secretly eat cold things. <laughs> I secretly. <laughs>